What to do if you fall into a nuclear waste tank? Below the tank there will be fuel rods containing nuclear waste. Definitely don't be curious but try to touch them. Otherwise, temperatures as high as 2800 degrees Celsius will quickly burn you. What you can rest assured about is that there's no nuclear radiation here. Because the water in the tank is like a shielding wall. Not only can prevent radiation, but also have the effect of temperature regulation. You won't find any bacteria in there. The water here is many times cleaner than the water in the swimming pool. What if you build a city on Mars? First, using robots and 3D printers to build an outer layer to protect the city. From radiation and sandstorms on Mars. Next is to prepare a large amount of solar cells to provide electricity. Mars gravity is only one third of Earth's. So the human body weight will decrease. So we need to add more protein to maintain health. Water at the two poles of Mars is very abundant, can go there to get water for irrigation. What if there is a magnitude 20 earthquake? Currently, among the earthquake levels, the magnitude 12 earthquake is the largest. Each earthquake level will have a difference of 32 times the energy released. As far as records go, the strongest earthquake in the world to date. It was the 9.5 magnitude earthquake in 1960 in Chile. The strength of a magnitude 20 earthquake would be 1062 trillion times this earthquake. Equivalent to the energy released by 1 million atomic bombs when detonated. The power now not only destroyed the earth once. Which is enough to happen 15 times. At this time, humans will have to migrate to another universe to find another planet to live. What will happen if nuclear wastewater is discharged into the sea? Although most radioactive substances in nuclear wastewater are filterable. But there are still some substances that can't be handled. For example, the radioactivity of carbon-14 can persist for 6,000 years. After being discharged into the sea, it will accumulate in high concentrations in the body of fishes. So thousands of years later, these organisms still contain extremely dangerous toxins. Furthermore, the radioactive element tritium in wastewater can even cause genetic mutations and birth defects. Even more frightening is, this pollution will follow the water to all over the world. Impact on the global marine environment. What if dinosaurs didn't go extinct? First, many of the sea creatures we're familiar with could go extinct. For example, whales, sharks. To dodge and adapt to dinosaurs, the fish and zooplankton in the sea will evolve with a very different appearance from the present. Therefore, marine life is more diverse. The ocean for humans has also become more dangerous. We need bigger battleships to deal with the dinosaur attack. Pleasures like surfing, fishing will no longer be popular. What happens if friction is lost? Without the force of friction, people would not be able to walk on the ground anymore. All vehicles in traffic will crash into each other due to being unable to stop. The parked cars will forever be unable to move but can only roll in place. In addition, all matter is composed. Because of the mutual restraint of the electromagnetic force between the atoms, they need to have friction to be able to combine. If the friction force is lost, the Earth will instantly be like a melted ice cream. 